let's talk about BGP segments now. So we just discuss how to distribute IGP uh, with the IGP using only IGP for the transport different type of segments such as we talked about prefix segments as a prefix segment we discussed node segments and any case segments as well as we talked about a agency segments which mean not based on just nodes or group of nodes but uh, link or group of links basically we discussed now if we are distributing the prefix via bgp then we can use bgp as the sr control plane guys so bgp can be used for the uh, sr control plane and can distribute the segment id so labels bgp is in RFC 7938, which mean uh, using BGP as IGP in the hyperscale networks, and RFC 3107, which mean BGP labeled unicast, which is used in many applications, such as interest MPLS VPN option C, such as carrier supporting carrier, such as seamless MPLS, so on and so forth. And RFC 7277 is the updated version of 3107, by the way, BGP LU. BGP plus label for both IPv4 as well as IPv6 used in networks for many reasons. BGP actually just these are a couple reasons, but there are many other reasons like, for example, flow specs, for example, BGP in multicast and VPNs, of course, to distribute the uh, overlay signaling PE to, between the PEs, those customer signalings, etc. guys. BGP is BGP and used for many purposes. Of course, uh, segment routing is just another one. When BGP is used for these reasons to advertise the IP prefix, then BGP distributes seeds, not the IGP distribute those seeds. Okay, so again, the this chart I showed you with the IGP segments. Now, BGP segments. Let's have a look at what type of segments we have. By seeing these charts, it's helping us to learn basically. So we have peer seeds with the BGP. Sorry, P prefix seeds and BGP peer seeds. So, so at the left also we had uh, peer prefix seed there. So, uh, and we had agency segments. Now here, prefix and the peer, those agency segments will be uh, under peer seeds also. So category, we are categorizing this way. So again, when it comes to prefix seed, not seed and any case seed. Same thing for the IGP we talked, nothing different here. When it comes to peer seed, we call it peer node. What is peer seed? We will see. Uh, and also peer agency and peer set seats. We will see which one of them we will have a look at now. Okay. So BG, high level prefix seat and peer seat, and then low level details we will discuss. So with the any case seat, I am starting. When, especially when we use BGP in those large-scale data centers, let's say, in a closed-based topology, in a FAT3 closed-based topology, leaf and spine we have, and we may, here, for example, in this picture, we have three leaf and three spines, but maybe what we want to do is, for some traffic, we want to utilize those two spine switches, maybe, and from those two of them, I can basically assign same uh, seed value, in this case, 70,001, okay, same seed value, advertise both of them. And since in this network we don't have IGP, we just have BGP, uh, this BGP neighborship can be just point to point, you don't need to have any other IGP protocol for loopback to loopback reachability, etc. Okay, so just maybe external interface is used for the BGP neighborship, so you don't need anyway. So, but what we do, since the prefixes, those even loopbacks are learned via BGP, no, no, we don't have IGP, as I said here, even static routing, no need. So since we are advertising those loopback addresses via BGP, we also advertise the label with the segment routing seed I mean via BGP, guys. So if I want to, let's say, exclude here spine 16, okay, to the traffic, to the uh, prefix behind node 13, Okay, send the traffic to leaf 13, but excluding 16, spine 16, by only using spine 14 and 15, allocate BGP any case seeds 17,001, let's say, for them. And uh, same look back, let's say, 2111 slash 32 for IPv4, obviously. And what I can do is, 
I can push two seeds into the label stack, 17,001, basically defining send the traffic to either spine 14 or spine 15, excludes in this case, of course, 16, because we didn't advertise uh, this 17,001 from this node 16. That's why only these two advertising, I am sending either one of them, uh, which one? Locally hashed, so some flow over here, some flow over there. Okay, and uh, after that, when the traffic is sent over here, of course, one of the, these nodes will receive. It comes to me. Let me remove this one, PHP, and then send to the uh, 30, diff 30. Okay, that is the operation. Why we, we basically assign the seed value via BGP because we didn't use IGP here. So in order to reach to those prefixes, we use BGP. That's why we assign the seed via BGP. That's why. Okay, node seed was the, we didn't discuss this node seed, but individual, same as, exact, same as uh, IGP node seed. So basically in this case here for the node 14, uh, if you don't want some traffic to be load balanced, but just through that one, uh, node 14, anyway we, we are advertising node seed value per each and every node in this network node 14 I don't know let's say 16,014 16,015 for this one 16,016 etc they are node seed since we are not using any IGP BGP will advertise those IP prefixes of the loopbacks and you are advertising also node seed via BGP that's it Peer seed is associated with a peer, BGP peering session to specific neighbors or set of neighbors. Now I will show you the topology. So you can again think about like uh, adjacency seed. Okay, these are local segments like an adjacency seed anyway, and signaled via BGP LS address family. BGP LS stands for BGP link state, and especially with a control based environment, it's heavily used. Have a look at this one. Uh, we have controllers and this BGPLS, as I said, especially when it comes to control, it is used. And uh, with this BGPLS address family, we, this BGP peer seats will be used. And what we will do with this? So we have router one ingress router. That's uh, not important at the moment. So router two and router three as are uh, egress routers. Router two has two links to the router four in AS two, and router two has single link to the AS. 3, router 5, as you can see. So, in order to describe maybe this link, this uh, exigency, what we can do is uh, advertise, of course, some label value for this one. Here, some label. Here, maybe for both of them, some label. One label, maybe. And for each and every individual, also one label. So, whichever granularity we want, it is possible, we are trying to say here. So, either... I don't care which interface, but just send to this router and let him handle the hashing uh, or send to this router and send specifically this NNI, network to network interconnection or this interface. NNI we call it usually between different neighbors uh, in different ASS. So this kind of terminology you start getting used to. This. Steer the traffic to the specific BGP peer node via ECMP multiple towards that peer router BGP peer node segment peer node, peer agency we will see also. Peer node, not mean, when you see, okay, use the uh, shortest path by utilizing ECMP, if there is an ECMP. Okay, so this one, peer node, so router 3, peer node, okay, use basically this node seat value because you are adver advertising for this neighbor. Ha. Huh node seed value actually would be nice to show also here let's say 40,304 also on this one because router 4 let's say right but then you can have peer node agency also here one of those agency label for this interface another agency label for this interface you can specify if just to this node 2 with the 40,304 so whichever interface you use I'm okay with that. Or if you can utilize ECMP, use ECMP. Right. In we have ECMP, which means multipath in BGP, three levels, different types. Either IBGP CMP you have, IBGP multipath we call it, uh, EBGP multipath we also have, and EIBGP multipath we have. So if 
prefixes learn via eBGP pet as well as iBGP pet at the same time. So then we can utilize both of them. Actually, this is uh, uh, purely for the MPLS VPN cases. Otherwise, you may end up with the routing loop. But let's, let me not worry. So peer adjacent segment, ex exactly I am showing that uh, case. In this case, what we have here, peer agency 1 to the 4, peer agency 2 to the 4. So on this link, I have basically 40,214 and this link 40,224. But 40,304, for example, is uh, entire node, peer node seed. Agency seed per interface level, node seed per router level. Same thing with the uh, IGP we seen, IGP node, node level, agency, uh, single agency level we seen, BGP peer, same thing. So either via node seed, if I would advertise peer node seed, then I can use any of them or ECMP. But if I am specifying peer agency segment, so I am telling specifically for whatever that traffic is, let's say, I don't know, Facebook traffic from this network towards the Facebook. Uh, it goes over specifically this link maybe you want. Okay. So steer traffic to the specific BGP peer node via specific interface towards that peer node. Then peer set, in this case, as you can see here, we have uh, different ASNs, one link over the AS2, another link over the AS3. Still, you can do uh, ECMP over here, uh, here basically. Uh, this one is powerful, actually, normally. So you are overriding the uh, BGP rule here by, it's like a traffic engineering in the IGP, when you normally use IGP without, as I told you, SR or RSVP, they would just use the shortest path, right? Here, you cannot normally do ECMP if the traf if the, for the, towards the EG EBGP, this one EBGP, obviously, AS1, AS2, AS3, right? You cannot do EBGP multipath if there is different AS numbers in the AS path, there is a solution for that called multipath relax. But even with the multipath relax, if there is, uh, let's say, uh, behind this AS there is two, but behind this AS there is three, four different AS numbers, then whichever shortest uh, AS path, that would win the best path selection. You, so you cannot do multipathing. But this one, you don't care actually how many paths. So you say, okay, half of the traffic I want to push over here, half of the traffic over here I want to push. Okay, this is stronger. Uh, so just let's keep in mind. Same thing like when, when you deploy traffic engineering. Do you care what IGP is telling you? Maybe yes, maybe no. By default, yes. But you can put some constraint, obviously. So next topic will be uh, SRLDP uh, interworking, which means if we are using in this same network both of them if we need to use for different purposes maybe migration you are doing maybe uh, you cannot basically immediately migrate and at some point you need to use both of them together uh, later on maybe you will migrate to single protocol but maybe, maybe not so we will talk about it but so far if we discussed bgp uh, prefix it as a prefix seed node or any cast and then uh, we talked also about bgp peer seeds and Again, node or agency we, we discussed. And why BGP we said? Maybe you don't carry the IGP, IP prefixes via IGP, but IP prefixes via BGP you carry. In this case, uh, since in the network you may not have any IGP, or there is maybe IGP in case of seamless MPLS case, for example, there is an IGP, but you are uh, carrying, um, let's say, inter area, inter domain IP prefixes via BGP. In that case, you assign a label via BGP as well. That's why uh, segment routing will use BGP control plane there to advertise seed value. Uh, or in the hyperscale data centers, let's say you don't have any IGP like RFC 7938 and BGP we use there. Uh, so we can use basically again BGP seeds there. That's why seeds and their corresponding meaning for the BGP is defined. And in this video, we covered them. So in the next video, we will start. Uh, SR and LDP interworking to discuss.